Greetings, I'm Art Fireman, and today we're going to take a look at Epson's Powerlite 97H. Epson's Powerlite 90 series is one I've always considered to be one of the workhorse uh, projector groups out there, rather fully featured and yet affordable. We've been reviewing projectors in this series for several years now. They tend to be strong sellers for both business use and for K-12 schools. I don't doubt that they are also popular for higher education. The Powerlite 97H is an update of the older Powerlite 97. There aren't a whole lot of changes, and at least one significant one from a hardware standpoint. Let me start with a brief overview of the 97H, the features and the specs, and then I'll take time to position this projector for you since I feel that for many people, that will be very helpful. The basics are this. The Powerlite 97H claims 2700 both color and white lumens and has a 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio. There's a manual zoom lens with a 1.2 to 1 zoom range and the projector provides a great deal of horizontal and vertical keystone correction. Resolution is XGA which is 1024 by 768 which is your standard 4 by 3 aspect ratio. There are two HDMI ports and one of those supports MHL providing great capabilities in terms of interfacing with mobile devices and streaming sticks. This Epson projector also has a lot of advanced networking capabilities, although it's not Crestron room view compatible like many of the Epson's higher end uh, commercial projectors. Still, the Epson provided networking capabilities are impressive, including sharing using Epson's moderator so software, which can allow, for example, a teacher or presenter to show up to four screens on the projector at one time from four different devices. There's built-in wired and also an optional wireless module, less than $100. I'll discuss all of that in a minute or two. Menus are well laid out and documentation is particularly good. The remote has a reasonable range of 25 feet plus. It's time to take a closer look at the high hardware. I'll be right back. It's time to tour Epson's Powerlite 97H, the primary XGA projector in the 90 series. And we of course will start from the front and we'll start from the left side of that. We have an exhaust right here. The lens is recessed for protection there. Down below is a, a single button drop down release center foot and the infrared sensor is located right here. Now to protect the lens when traveling, there's a door here that also doubles as an AV mute when the power is on. Right behind that, although you can't see it because it's recessed, is the focus and the zoom uh, controls. And then back here is a keystone corner correction system. Okay, let's rotate. Come to the side, we see access to the filter system and there's a little Kensington lock for security. You can see one of the two screw thread adjustable rear feet here. Okay, moving to the back. Okay, let's take a look at the back now. We have your power receptacle there. Right below it, you can see one of the two screw thread adjustable feet. And then come all of our connectors. Two USBs, an A and a B located there. Uh, your standard local area networking right next to it, an RJ45. Two HDMI inputs with the MHL on HDMI 2 in this case. Then we have two computer inputs, one and two right here. A stereo audio in there. We have standard composite video with two audios next to it. And then a standard S video. On the bottom row, we've got an RS-232 for command and control. There's a microphone jack input, a nice extra feature. And we've got a computer monitor out right below it. There's a stereo audio out and also an audio to input located there. All that's left on the back here is the rear infrared sensor and the built-in rear facing speaker system. That's it. We're now zoomed in on the control panel, uh, looking from the back of the projector at the top. And let's run through them. Pretty standard stuff. Looks like a lot of other Epsons. Standard power, two indicator lights, one for lamp and temperature. There are different flashing combinations to tell you what's going on should there be a problem. Source search is next. And then comes the navigation system consisting of the menus and the escape bar, which takes you back one level at a time up the menus. We've got the four arrow keys and a diamond configuration for navigating the menus. And the enter button is located in the center. In addition to that, we've got a help button located right there which brings you up some interactive help find the question that's giving you a problem it'll take you right to the menu to correct it finally when you're not navigating in the menu system the four arrow buttons take on different purposes you have horizontal and vertical lens shift on the up and down arrows and volume down and up on the left and the right and that concludes the control panel 
Time for our moderator uh, demonstration. This is Epson software for the classroom. It allows up to 50 computers to be uh, and devices to be shared. Any four can be projected at once, just like that. Hi guys, I'm in the uh, Epson War Room, as they like to call it. Bunch of warmongers here. You see four screens. Actually, three have something on it at the moment. One's got a little pop-up window, too. But basically, what we're doing here is we're uh, demonstrating or working with Epson's moderator software. And moderator software is some pretty cool stuff. What it allows us to do is, off of a single network, uh, using a computer, looking at, uh, with moderator running, one can see up to 50 devices at once. And I say devices, those can be uh, laptops, they can be Android uh, tablets or phones, Apple uh, iPhones and iPads, and so on. So right now we actually have two computers going and uh, two phones going at once in the four quadrants here. You can actually have one quadrant, two quadrants, or four quadrants at once. If you only have three devices, well, one of them's just gonna be blank, tough luck. Uh, we've got a slideshow going on one of them. Uh, can I, we see a little annotation? Uh, whoever's got the, annotate something. We're pausing here, there we go. So we'll do oh, both, two at once. I'm not, now, is this capable? So as you can imagine, uh, in a classroom, this could be dueling screens between two uh, assignment groups uh, showing their work simultaneously to the uh, applause of the rest of the kids in the class. Okay, let's see how it works. We've got an Android phone right now. It's got eye projection software on it, which is, Apple's, uh, which is Epson's app for Apple and Android. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell the moderator software running on this PC that we want to connect this device. And it's going to appear in that center area there. I'll point that out to you in a moment. There it is. Right there. Okay, and we're going to tap it there and set it up for two across. And bingo, our uh, image that's on the phone appears. Now I'm just adjusting brightness here for the moment. Notice that we're in the middle of the screen vertically. Uh, we can uh, switch to four to move that up to the top and make room for two more at the bottom. Here's the eye uh, projection software. And with it, I can run a slideshow. It's as easy as uh, swiping. And of course, I can do other things like annotate. We'll get back to that. Okay, now we're back here, setting it up for four. Let's move the image up to the two images up to the top. There's room at the bottom. Okay, how about annotating? I tap the button, bring up the pen, use my finger. It's that simple. All right, this is moderator software that just gives you a slight idea, a beginning touch of how easy it is to use this. Uh, it's a very popular classroom tool, very capable. Welcome back. Epson's warranty is noteworthy. There's a standard two years parts and labor warranty, which includes Epson's rapid replacement program. If there's a warranty problem, you call them up and they ship out a replacement projector. You ship them back your busted one. That's it. They pay all the freight. That's all there is to it other than you have to give them a credit card to use in case you fail to return one of those two projectors. Education buyers through Epson's Brighter uh, Futures program get an extra year of warranty and an extra year of uh, replacement uh, program. Lamp costs are also cheaper. Epson's lamps start out as some of the least expensive to begin with one or two year Epson extended warranties with the replacement program included are also available. As I said, having XGA resolution, the 97H has a native aspect ratio of four to three. In this day and age, manufacturers make a lot of projectors that are still four by three, but plenty now that are 16 by 10, that is widescreen projectors. Let's talk four by three versus widescreen for a minute. In both business and education, the trend has been a steady but slow shift to widescreen over the last decade. We reviewed the Epson Powerlite 99 two years ago, the 99 being the top of the uh, series as a widescreen projector. However, like the older 97, it was just replaced with a H version, adding the MHL and some other updates. Here's the thing, if you just need a projector, Believe me, I would recommend, and you are more likely to go with a widescreen these days, such as the 99H, unless spending only slightly less to get an XGA projector is financially necessary. The reason why the 97H is a best-selling projector is the huge replacement market out there. 
There are literally millions of older projectors installed in the US, the largest share in K through 12 schools. One important thing to note is that some of those are as old as 15 years. Now, keeping in mind that until the last few years, four by three uh, projectors outsold widescreens, that means that most of the projectors installed in schools and conference rooms are still four by three. So when it's time to replace those older, dimmer, perhaps lower resolution projectors with newer ones, it costs drastically more to replace those with widescreen projectors. By comparison, replacing with another 4x3 projector is a grand bargain. If you want to replace an older 4x3 projector that's ceiling mounted in a classroom or conference room, most likely the 97H will be a straight replacement. That is, you probably will be uh, mountable using the same ceiling mount in the same location as the outdated projector. There's no really good point in moving to a widescreen projector if you're going to keep the same 4x3 screen that you previously installed. So not having to buy a new screen is a big savings. Can you say ka-ching? You wouldn't be just buying a new screen, but also installing it. That's more money. Ka-ching. Okay, we're going to hang on this. You get the idea. Switching to a widescreen means not only a new projector, but a new screen and hours of installation time. Simply replacing the older VGA, SVGA, or XGA projector with the Paralight 97H has minimal cost beyond that of the projector itself. The 97H is powerful enough, thanks to its 2700 color and white lumens, to not only handle a typical K-12 classroom or conference room, but many larger rooms, including training rooms and all but the largest university classrooms. In some cases, with some ambient light present. That the projector claims 2700 color lumens, that puts its color lumen count about the same as many DLP projectors with white lumen claims of 3,500 to 4,500 lumens. Now we do not measure color lumens, we have for demonstrations uh, and our videos, but an independent lab, likely paid for by the three LCD folks, has measured and published color lumens for perhaps as many as 100 current projectors. I scored one of their booklets at Infocom and it makes a great quick reference guide. I haven't heard any objections from projector manufacturers claiming that their measurements are not accurate, so we'll take them as good. The bottom line, the Epson Powerlite 97H is a great value and received one of our hot product awards. This is a projector perfectly suitable for portable use or hanging in a conference room or classroom. It was not reviewed in time to be included in the 2015-2016 education report, but it will be in next year's. That said, the Powerlite 99, last year's uh, widescreen version, took top honors in the report, receiving the Best in Classroom Standard Projectors with Networking Award. Other than the 99 being widescreen and lacking the now H designation that represents MHL support, they are virtually identical. Street prices under $550 and far less for schools through the Brighter Futures program. This 2700 color and white lumen projector offers low upfront cost, sharp right image with vibrant colors, exceptional lamp life, extremely low cost and long life replacement lamps, less than $100 for schools. There's extensive wired networking and optional wireless. This gives the Powerlight 97H the abilities, including projecting from students' computers in a classroom and supporting presenting from mobile devices, including smartphones, tablets, and streaming sticks like the Roku or Amazon Fire uh, using the moderator software. That includes mobile devices supporting interactivity, allowing annotation, etc. And let's not forget the built-in media player that lets one run videos, images, even Microsoft Office documents without the need for a computer. I do hope you're impressed now. Again, it has MHL on its HDMI, so it does play well with those streaming sticks. Then there's the powerful internal speaker system that can cover a typical classroom without help, plus an overall impressive feature set for your $549 or less. If that isn't enough, while not the smallest projector around, the Epson is small enough and light enough at 6.4 pounds to be a typically portable business projector, so don't let me distract you with just that educational talk. The Powerlight 97H, like its predecessor in previous years, will almost certainly be one of the best-selling projectors over the next year or two. Epson offers quite literally dozens of projectors, but the 90 series stands out amongst all of them uh, that are not specifically ultra short throw interactive projectors. The question is whether the 97H is the best one for your usage or perhaps one of their widescreen variations as the 99H is instead. All considered a powerhouse of a value, great capabilities. A great projector for the bucks, great picture, great feature set, that's it. I'm Art Fireman, we're Projector Reviews TV. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, there's a lot more information and photos in the online review.